Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So we don't open your bank a new exclusive uh, video, you will definitely be notified. Well, it is fight night, and our brother FA, the silent roller, formerly known as FA, the one and only. Ajabwa fights Joseph Goodall, the guy who first gave him his first amateur loss um, back in 2014. We're looking at over 10 years now, by the way. Uh, bro, if we should look at this far right here, how does it play out? Ten years later, Joseph Goodall is looking towards defeating FA, the one and only uh, Jagba. Goodall did have a, he had a very good amateur uh, uh, background, of course. Eleven losses, um, two knockout. No, he really got knocked out twice. But 28 wins and one knockout. One thing I can notice about Goodall is that he doesn't possess a, a tremendous power, a monster scary power. But one thing you cannot fault the guy is that he is a very good, well calculated boxer from Australia who's got ring generalship. As a pro, he has 10 wins, 9 knockouts. Interesting. One loss and one draw. Looking at the loss, he lost to Justice Honey, <clears throat> a 5 and no guy. That was back in 2022. Fought almost three times. He fought three times in 2022. Uh, fought once. He fought, he fought Stephen Shaw. Knocking out Stephen Shaw. Like, that's interesting. A guy who got who literally lost to Justice Hooning, who I never heard of before, and whom basically have five, who had five or no there. Let me look at Joseph Hooney, no Justice Hooney uh, record now. Wow, eight wins, four knockouts. Who the hell is this guy? Justice Hooney. Well, the one earlier Jack Jaguar will be facing Joseph, Joseph uh, Goodhall. This is just a good haul. Yeah, just a good haul. Tonight, in a few hours, I think we will be there. I'll definitely try to cover this fight. And hopefully I don't overslip, you know. Now, what do you make of this fight right here? That they want it. And how does Ajaba approach this fight? Does he overlook it? Or does he go with the mindset of, listen, this guy beat me 10 years ago. I have to get my revenge. Man, shout out to Efe Ajagba, the one and only, the silent roller. Man, um, Efe Ajagba is a powerful puncher, yes sir. Efe Ajagba, powerful puncher, we all know who Efe is. I'll be honest, Efe in his last maybe five fight, he hasn't showcased um, great abilities in delivering those knockout punches. And that's why he currently has about, I think he has 18 fights and five 18 victories and 13 knockouts so his knockout percentage is 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 slowly reducing right but still he's a powerful punch out i mean everybody that got cracked by ife understands how hard that guy punches now me as an ife ajagba fan I'm, I'm gonna be biased without a doubt but i feel like he has this victory. He should defeat Goodall. It's not a walk in. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's not going to be an easy fight. Simply because we saw what Goodall did to Goodall. Sorry, what he did to Stephen Shaw. Shaw landed some good punches on Goodall. I don't know if you watched that fight, but that fight was I, mostly I, on the I, inside. I, I didn't watch the fight, bro. But I have to yeah, say, I actually, I, I have to say, yeah. I have to say though, him losing to a guy. With five and zero, like injustice, honey, is not impressive at all. Yeah, man, you know it's it, it's boxing, bro. Anything can happen. Sometimes you might have a bad day in the office, and a guy that has less skill sets than you can defeat you. It happens sometimes. But all in all, 
I'm not going to overhype Goodall. He's a decent fighter. I don't think he has what it takes to defeat Efe Ajagba in today's world, in the pros. Fine, he got the victory over Ajagba in the amateurs. But we also have to consider the fact that Ajagba coming from the um, Ogeli background, you know, this guy didn't really have any technical um, coaching staff that showed them how to throw a proper jab, that showed Efe Ajagba how to, you know, use his reach significantly taller than Goodall. If you check out the Olympics, if you are Jagba's performance in the Olympics, he scored a vicious knockout against one guy from Trinidad and Tobago. I can't remember the guy's name. But that was raw power, raw African muscle and power without any refinement, no techniques. So imagine if Ife Jagba had started getting trained by a technical trainer from a young age. Maybe his delivery system would have been excellent today. So with that being said, Goodall had that advantage going into that amateur fight. And I believe it was Olympics trial. So this was even before Olympics. If a Jagba today is a completely different fighter. Goodall's performance, they have a, a common opponent, Stephen Shaw. If it defeated Stephen Shaw via unanimous decision, I believe. Or yeah, it was unanimous decision. I honestly thought that fight was 50-50 going in. But if he outclassed Stephen Shaw. Now, if you check out what happened between Goodall and Stephen Shaw, those guys went toe to toe. And that way, Goodall, Goodall, sorry, Goodall got dropped like twice or three times. M my bad. Stephen Shaw got dropped like twice or thrice. And then he got stopped in the fight. So if you're playing the triangle theory and you believe that if Goodall was able to stop Stephen Shaw and if he was not able to stop Shaw, Maybe Goodall has an advantage over Efe, but I don't think that's what it is because the way the fight played out, Shaw was afraid to stand on the inside to go toe to toe with Efe Ajagba. On the other hand, he went toe to toe with Goodall. So the fight is going to play out different. I believe Efe Ajagba should be the favorite. I haven't checked out the bookies or anything. Most importantly, I'm rooting for Efe. I hope he gets the job done. I hope he scores a knockout because this will be a coming out party for him after having some you know, some glitches in his career with, with um, the brother from from Cuba. What's that guy's name again? Uh, you know that guy he lost to? Uh, Frank That's Sanchez. Really yeah, Frank, Frankie Sanchez. Sanchez is a, is a very, very good boxer, man. So, yeah, man, I really hope Efe can pull this off. And I believe he will because he's better than Goodall. He is better than Goodall. If you have the chance, bro, just check out how Goodall and Stefan Shaw fought. Because I'll be honest, that's the only fight of Goodall that I ever seen. I'm good all, I, it's not a guy that I know of, but just watching his fight against Stefan, that was a war, slug fest. He's not going to go do a slug fest with Efe Ajagba. He's not. And he's not a fast puncher either. So he doesn't have that speed advantage, much of a speed advantage over Efe. But yeah, that's my breakdown, man. Efe should pull this one off. That's what I think. All right, brother. Thanks so much for your take. Let's go it on you. Ty Ajagba. Ta Jagwe, what's the breakdown of this fight? How does it Jagwe approach this fight? And man, Adewale said, Adewale said it all, bro. That was that was well said. Um, for me, like like Adewale said, um, listen, the 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 amateur background, the Olympian background versus the professional background is a big different thing. You know, FA just coming, not really knowing much. But, you know, at least having some significant, not as much as uh, Goodall. But now that the now that he's been there in some wars, he's gained some more confidence. You know, I honestly believe, you know, F.A. F.A. I know F.A. knows it himself. Like, I'm better than this guy. Unless, you know, these things kind of play. These these things still pop, probably plays, depending on how F.A. lost to Goodall. Or it probably still has like a little, uh, uh, um, a little. How do I say? It? Like a little thing in a politics. Mental. Yeah, no, no, no. It plays a little mental in his back, saying I lost, I lost to him in the Olympics. You know, maybe he'll, he'll be a little bit nervous coming into this fight. Maybe not. You know, but for the most part, from what I've seen, I think FA should easily, easily outclass, outwork. You know, in all different types. You know, you don't want it to be like a, a, a Israel Adesanya versus um, Alex Pereira, the potent. You don't want you don't want you don't want it to be like that because 
sometimes it ends up like that for no for when you know you have a, literally the, a, a good fighter in front of you you know that that's the only that's the only concern i have you know you don't want it to be like a leon edward versus kamaru usman we all know who the best fighter is in that fight we all know who, who it is you don't want that you know you don't want it to be like um those those type of fights where you where you have it in the back of your mind, man. I hope he can get over that hurdle or that loss of that hurdle. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But for the most part, FA Jaguar has all the capabilities, has all the skill set, has all the talent, all by his side. You know, like in, in, in the heavyweight division, one punch can one punch can ch easily change the outcome. You know, and FA Jaguar can easily change that outcome. You know, just like I said, he's been improving. He's been looking good. He should easily, you know, like our work and just show us what he, what he, uh, what he's been learning from his, um, from his new trainer. You know, I think his new trainer has 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 a major impact on FA because man, I've never that guy is starting to move now. He's starting to look better. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get to mm -hmm. from from his last from his last fight, but from what I saw. You know, being able to compose himself and actually move and do these things, it shows me that FA has that learning. He's able to learn. He's able to observe what he, observe what he's learning from 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 his coaches, and he's smarter than smarter than what he than he looks. You know, so I'm really excited to see him, and that's what I want to see tonight. You know, just that poised and more controlled, and when it's time to land that nasty right hand. Let him land it and end that and end that fight because now I really want to see him go back in there, you know, and just me and, and just start challenging challenging these guys, you know. Yeah, he, you know what I like about FA Ben, he lost to Frank Sanchez. He didn't he didn't immediately say I want that rematch. Fuck it, he said I'm I'm gonna you know improve and continue on. These guys like to jump in an immediate rematch. And it eventually causes them, and you know, it has some effect on them, and it, they just don't look as good anymore. But FA Jabra, he moved on. He's working. He's rebuilding, and he's actually looking extremely good. And I'm and I'm excited for that fight. But as for the most part, I, I don't see anything less than a knockout from FA Jabra, and that's and, I, and I'm and I'm and I'm really saying it. I really see a knockout happening in this fight. That's where I'm going to end up. At. Thanks, bro. I do appreciate your take on this, guys. Uh, I want to say big up to each and everyone for first of all the channel. We'll be back again prior to the fight, before the fight, uh, um, before the official ring work of both, uh, both fighters. Um, God bless you all and stay to for more right here. <laughs> yeah, man.